Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, video. So actually I just uh, shot this video for the Rencontre Mondiale du Logiciel Libre, which will be held in uh, 2018 in July in Strasbourg. So actually the website is uh, the website is here. Actually here is the official event I will attend to uh, at the beginning of July. And uh, just for the people who cannot actually attend to my conference, which will be probably on Monday or on Tuesday, I decided actually to make this video. So actually, what you're going to see today is, uh, this, let's say, the, the presentation that I will uh, show uh, in July at the Rencontre Mondiale du Logiciel Libre. Um, so what I will talk about today is about uh, Matomo Tag Manager, which is a plugin developed uh, for Matomo Analytics, which is the leader in uh, open source analytics at the moment. Um, most of you, I guess, do not know who I am. So my name is uh, Ronan Chardonneau. I'm freelance on Matomo Analytics since uh, many years. Actually, I'm mainly uh, doing training and consultancy. Well, that's a typo. Uh, mainly uh, training and consultancy about Matomo Analytics. I'm also an associate professor at the University of Angers in France since now uh, 2012 and something like six years from now. I'm mainly uh, teaching everything which deal with SEO, SEA, um, could be e-reputation, community management, everything which deal with e-something, um, this, is, this is what I'm doing. Uh, actually, I'm also uh, an author, so I wrote several books. Uh, most of them are in French, a couple of them are in Spanish about uh, P-Week, uh, which now is named uh, Matomo, App Inventor 2, which is uh, a technology formerly developed by Google and now maintained by uh, the MIT, uh, which allows you to create an uh, Android app without any uh, knowledge in coding. I also uh, wrote one of the first book about Google Tag Manager, and I also wrote uh, with some colleagues, actually, uh, many versions of uh, Google Analytics. So, I wrote uh, two versions and then uh, I took part of a third version that you can find in most of all libraries in France or even on Amazon. Um, I made a French MOOC. Uh, so as you may be an English speaking speaker, that may not uh, of interest for you, but uh, I just uh, published a French MOOC about Matomo Analytics. So it's kind of a good introduction actually to what is uh, Matomo Analytics about. I'm also giving some information about how you can install it, what you can do with it, uh, and so on and so forth. There is a couple of video, it's nice and interactive. You have some quiz on which you can answer to and so on and so forth. So it's, it's really well detailed and uh, I spent something like three weeks in order to do it. So uh, I really hope you will, uh, you will like it. A lot of people uh, proofread it, so normally you should not have much a typo about it, but as it's in French, uh, some of you may be a bit reluctant of following it, but uh, that's totally understandable. I'm also a member of Alliance Libre, which is a, a French association gathering in my uh, in my city. Not a lot of actors dealing and selling uh, professional services on uh, free software technology. So it can either be, um, I don't know, uh, services for server maintenance. It can be uh, creating some websites and can be some design or, and everything delivered with uh, free software technology such as, I don't know, GIMP, in, uh, Inkscape, um, many, all the different free software technologies that you can find on the market. Um, I'm also a former organizer of Measure Camp events. So uh, basically, uh, Measure Camp Not and SEO Camp de Not. In, uh, in Nantes and Angers. Uh, I'm also passionate about Arduino and IoT in general. And if you want to know more about it, you can just uh, go on my first name, family name at, uh, I mean, .fr, and you will find my website on which I'm talking a lot about all my different uh, passions. So, um, yeah. Here we are. So today I'm going to talk about uh, Matomo Tag Manager. And this is the menu that you have uh, for this video, which will be 40 minutes long. So um, the first point I will develop is uh, what's the point of a TMS, okay? What I'm going to talk about, why is it really important? Um, 
Then I'm going to show you directly how you can set up uh, Matomo Tag Manager, how you can start to play with it, and then how you can go uh, further. So here's the definition of a tag management system. So um, I guess most of you recognize this is the, the French Revolution of 1789. And that's exactly what a tag manager is. Currently, when you are using uh, Matomo Analytics or any other technology, if you are not uh, using a TMS, there is a lot of questions that you are not uh, considering, which are advanced tracking, which are security, which are uh, communication, which is as well project management, and so on and so forth. And this is exactly what a TMS is going to bring you, actually. It's all those key points that so far you may not have seen that actually right now you can take advantage of. Okay, um, This is as well my second definition of a tag management system. So that's because it's going to, um, let's say, really, it's going to rock the way you are currently working with your analytics infrastructure. So that's, uh, that's clearly what the TMS is. So if you really need to understand actually why there is a big buzz about uh, Matomo TMS at the moment, that's because it's clearly a technology which is going to change totally the way you work with Matomo Analytics. OK, um, so just to list you the different advantages of it, so and also the reason why uh, you're going to move to it uh, anyway. So um, Matomo. Uh, tag Manager is going to help you with your tag deployment. Okay, So a tag is the different snippet of code that you are implementing on your website in order to track specific actions. So let's say that right now you have Matomo Analytics, which is installed on your website. Then at some point, someone is going to knock at your door and say, oh, uh, by the way, we are using an advertising new program called, I don't know, Facebook advertising, LinkedIn advertising, Twitter advertising even Google AdWords or whatever advertising platform. And we need to install actually a tracking pixel or at least a specific uh, tracking code. Can you please install it on the website? Uh, then if it already comes to you, it means that you're going to grab this uh, snippet of code and try to find a way of inserting it uh, within your website. So if you are a web developer, you may not find this task very difficult. But if you are a marketing person or if you are uh, non-IT guy, actually, uh, you may face some difficulties. What a tag management system is going to do is exactly the same thing as a content management system. I guess that all, you, all of you know what is uh, uh, WordPress, what is Joomla, what is Pip, or what is Drupal, and what is Splone, and so on and so forth. And those technologies are here in order to make the life of people which want to manage the content um, uh, very easy. And that's exactly the same thing for the tag management system. When someone's going to give you actually a uh, tracking code to implement, instead of going on the website on the source code and to have ch high chances to break something, to test something, you're going to have a user interface on which we'll have the possibility actually to copy and paste this code, to debug, to preview it, uh, to test it, just to fire it on some specific event. And that's going to make your life far more easier for tag deployment. So that's that's the biggest advantage, actually, of a TMS. In terms of education, that's great, because so far, the scenario that you may have is like this relationship between marketing guys and uh, techie guys, where you have the marketing department, which is always knocking at the door of the IT guys asking for uh, some tag deployment. And you do not see a much evolution in terms of education from the marketing uh, people and actually TMS is a lot about education, which means that you're gonna put in the end of the marketing person exactly like uh, you did with the CMS and actually the marketing guys now have a user interface on which you're gonna see some stuff which are uh, very advanced and there are very few chances of breaking something and uh, every changes that they're gonna make are gonna have like a huge, uh, impact on the website in terms of uh, tracking and that's going to make them happy and they will feel more confident and they will uh, want to make more advanced tracking and so on and so forth. So that's the, the second point that I'm thinking, which is uh, very interesting. As well, in terms of security, it's uh, very powerful because it means that um, as a CMS, if you deploy something which is uh, buggy somehow, you have the possibility actually 
to move, move it back to a former state. So uh, you have a versioning system on which you can at some point say, okay, I want to remove this tag because definitely uh, is breaking something. It is breaking something, so I'm gonna uh, remove it. In terms of communication as well, it's a huge advantage because it means that every modification that you're gonna make uh, within your analytics infrastructure can be documented. So it means that at every point of your uh, tag deployment process, you can actually explain to the people what you did, why you decided to implement this pixel uh, on which uh, trigger, so at which moment you decided to fire it um, and so on and so forth. So that's another reason why it's, it's great. Uh, it's great as well in terms of project management because it's kind of easy to see what have been done. It's kind of easy to see uh, how you can improve it. And it's leaving some footprints a bit everywhere, which is a great stuff for uh, project management. Uh, it's as well opening the gates of a lot of businesses because it means that right now, some companies who did not have the possibility so far uh, to implement some tags uh, from the outside now have this possibility, which means that from the outside, without an access to the website, they can technically uh, implement through different uh, extension, for example, uh, Matomo Injector, for example, and they can already, without accessing the website itself, the source code itself, already uh, deploy through uh, their tag management system all the different tags, triggers, and variables, export it as a JSON file, and then give this JSON file uh, to the company to implement it and to just import it in a couple of clicks. So that's uh, that's opening the gates of, of many, many uh, business opportunities. In terms of drawbacks, there are just a couple of them, but as we'll see, it's not really drawbacks. So the first thing is that it's easy to break everything, which means that you're going to put within the end of the marketing people. Of course, you have some different layer of uh, securities that you can implement, but uh, let's say that you're going to put within the end of people who may not know uh, what web development is, the possibility to inject and to copy and paste uh, some scripts and to deploy them on your website. So it's somehow easy to break uh, everything, but you have actually some layers of security as well that you can implement within Matomo in order to, let's say, not make it as a drawback uh, for, your, uh, for your project. Um, uh, another drawback that I can see is that actually and blockers are very popular at the moment. They will probably continue to be very popular. And as a TMS is somehow a box, okay, a box in which you will put all your tags within it. And that if someone is blocking actually this specific tag, uh, it will kill actually all your tags which are within it. So typically when you go on some website which have something like 25 tags uh, already implemented and that someone decided to block one specific tag. So I can just give you uh, one quick example here. So if I just go, for example, on this uh, famous French website called fnac.com, uh, yeah, I have Ghostory installed. So it's just going to straight me, uh, give me an idea of how many tags are deployed. So as you can see, it has not finished yet to, to load. And I already have like, say like 20 tags. Okay, out of those 20 tags, uh, let's imagine that they put everything in uh, a tag manager. So, for example, within Adobe Dynamic Tag Management, if, for example, on my browser, I decided every time that I'm going to visit a website, I want to kill uh, Adobe Dynamic Tag Management, then it will uh, block all the different tags which are within uh, Adobe Dynamic Tag Manager. So that's uh, one of the drawbacks that I can see. Uh, which is definitely it's gonna it's gonna kill all your uh, all your tag deployment, which um, is of course um, a, a drawback here. Okay, um, so I guess we are uh, done for the introduction. You can already have like a, a broad idea of what is a TMS. Let's now see it in practice and how it's gonna change. Uh, it's gonna change your your habit. So I suggest that uh, that we start to play here. Um, just to let you know, uh, you will have a bit of vocabulary to learn, not that much in comparison to analytics solution. Uh, we're going to talk about a container, about tags, about triggers, variable version, preview, debug, and publishing. That's almost the whole set of vocabulary you need in order to understand what the TMS is. And it's actually all, almost all the, the TMS solution look like each other. So 
For example, if you are moving from Google Tag Manager, which is right now the most popular uh, tag management system, and that you move to Matomo, you will not feel lost. And the same thing if you move from Matomo to Google Tag Manager on any or any other uh, technology. So uh, what I suggest right now is just to show you what does it look like. So uh, let's close this down. Um, OK, so here's your Matomo installation, right? So uh, you have your Matomo installed. OK, uh, it's important to note that actually Matomo Tag Manager, in comparison to any other tag management system that you have on the market, is a plugin. OK, so uh, if you take, for example, Google Analytics, which is the main analytics solution at the moment on the market, it's one solution. And then Google Tag Manager, which is the equivalent of Matomo Tag Manager, is another solution, okay? Two independent solution. Uh, the choice that the Matomo team did is actually to not develop an independent product, but to develop actually um, a plugin itself. And I think, I really think that it's a smart uh, move from the Matomo team, because if you look at uh, the Google Analytics tag, which is the analytics solution, you can clearly see that now. Uh, they decided to change uh, their tracking code and uh, to consider it as uh, straight away to be a Google Tag Manager tag. So I really think that Google is actually moving in the other uh, direction and are now thinking about how to implement Google Tag Manager within uh, Google Analytics because it makes more sense, actually. Uh, it makes more sense to, to just merge the two solutions in order to fully take advantage of the analytics package. But that's my personal opinion. Um, I have to say as well that uh, Matomo Tag Manager is the only one uh, free software uh, solution right now. Uh, on the market, there are two uh, other uh, projects uh, before. So you have to know as well that Matomo Tag Manager is a latecomer. Actually, for during two years, we didn't have any uh, free software uh, alternative. Uh, you had in the past actually uh, seven tag and uh, seven tag actually um, was as well um, an open source project. I, I do not remember if it was a free software, but it was uh, an open source project for sure. And they finally decided uh, some years ago to close down the source code and now to make it as a paid service. And, um, and it's Pewik Pro and it's totally independent company from the Matomo project and stuff. And that's uh, that's important to note is actually uh, you had this project in the past, which is uh, not existing anymore somehow as a, an open source of free software project. Uh, you had also uh, the Qubit open tag and that's the same thing actually. Uh, not really the same thing, but uh, you have here the, the GitHub uh, repository of the project and I'm not really sure that it's uh, an open source uh, tag management system in itself. I think that you need to be uh, a consumer of uh, the suite of Qubit, but uh, check it twice because I'm not 100% uh, sure. Just try to make it work by myself and did not succeed to uh, install it uh, on my own as well for the seven tag actually. As because they are independent product, I try to install them on my own. I never succeed in installing it even from the old uh, repository. So that's that's the point I wanted to make here is that uh, with Matomo Tag Manager, it's it's free software. It's easy to install because it's part of Matomo Analytics installation. So if you succeed in installing actually uh, Matomo Analytics, you will for sure succeed to install Matomo Tag Manager because I'm going to show you that in a moment and you're going to see that it's very easy. So. Um, Let's assume that actually you installed Matomo Analytics on your website. In my case, I decided to install it uh, on my local server. And now I'm going to implement uh, the Matomo Tag Manager. So as I previously said, it's a plugin. So you just need to go into plugin. Oops, you just need to go here and just to look for the Tag Manager. So uh, by default, it's not installed. Probably, I guess that, um, I mean, right now we are in beta, actually. Matomo Tag Manager just been released this week. So I guess it will probably be um, present uh, in what they call core, which means that when you download it, it's already installed, when you download Matomo Analytics. Uh, so right now, that's not the case. So you need to go on the marketplace, such as I'm right now, and click on Install. 
And as any WordPress plugin, uh, it's going to download it and then going to tell you, uh, going to ask you if you want to activate it or not. So I'm going to say, hey, for sure, I want to install it. So I'm just going to click on activate. So now it's going to activate it. OK, great. Uh, down. OK, so uh, once it's installed, actually, you can already start to play with it. So uh, there are some settings. I can just click on here. And that's going to say, uh, yeah. OK, that's the security stuff I was talking about here. Uh, you have the possibility, actually, to disable what the, we call the custom template, which means that you're just going to play with what the Matomo Analytics uh, team decided you to play with, which means uh, not breaking your website. OK, but uh, we're just going to uh, leave it like this, just in order to to play a little bit with it. So and what is great with Tag Manager is once it's installed, it's very visible. It's here, right? So you just need to click here. And now uh, we can start to play with. So you can read the instruction or listen to me. That will be exactly the same, uh, the same thing. So in order to get started, the first thing you need to do once the plugin installed is actually to deploy the tracking code. That mainly be the only uh, tracking code you will have uh, to deploy on your website in order to uh, play with uh, Matomo Tag Manager and the Tag Manager in general. Actually, there is an extra stuff which is called Data Layer, but we are not going to uh, go to this uh, part right now. So, okay, let's create a container. So, I'm just going to give it the name of the event. Okay, so, okay, and now, uh, so I'm just going to describe it the container for container for the conference for the conference of no 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 okay so most of the time when you create a container that will be just for one website but uh, as a tag manager is very powerful with just one container you can target as well many many different websites but just to make it simple uh, let's imagine that you are a web agency every time that you have a new customer you probably want to have an independent container so let's say one container equal one website uh, let's say that's going to be the basic rule for uh, this conference which is an introduction conference okay so um, once actually you created your container you will have a tracking code which will be this one and this tracking code exactly like the matomo analytics tracking code you need to install it within the head in order to have your uh, codes uh, firing first so um, in my case, I'm just going to put it here, so within the head, and I'm going to save this out. So now if I go on my website, which is here, and I'm refreshing the page, well, nothing changed, that's normal. And if I look at my source code, I will see that now I have my container, which is installed. So that's great. Okay, That's the first thing. But uh, what this container is doing? Nothing. Actually, a container is nothing more than a placeholder on which you will insert within it the different tags that you would like to deploy for your website. Okay, That's the whole things of a tag manager. And that's not just about Matomo Analytics. That's about any third-party player that you would like to insert within this uh, container. So this is exactly what we're going to do uh, right now. We're going to do a bit of magic. So. Yeah, as you can see, I have my dashboard. So on my dashboard, I have many boxes, many information, but it's exactly the same uh, vocabulary that I introduced you before. We have some tags, we have some triggers, we have some variables, and we have some versions. So I'm just going to go uh, very um, slowly, and that's going to be fine. Um, I'm just going to make like a dummy tag at the beginning. So instead of using Matomo Analytics, I'm just going to uh, click here on Custom HTML. The point is, I just would like to show that it's not just about Matomo Analytics, but any other tags that you would like to deploy. So just to, in order to make you realize that actually with a TMS, you can do so many things and that is going to uh, change the way you work. So I'm just going to call it dummy tag. OK, dummy tag. And this dummy tag is just going to fire uh, a JavaScript alert. So uh, that's going to be alert. Ta -da. And I'm just going to say hello, and that's the name of the event. OK, you rock, you rock. OK, let's do something like this, this, like this, and like this. And then I'm just going to uh, copy and paste this tag here. 
Okay, so here's my tag, actually. Uh, as you can see, I just created my own tag. Uh, it's a script. And this script is doing what? It's just going to uh, fire a pop-up, show a pop-up, which, which is saying, hello, you rock. Okay, so that's the thing. But now this script, I need to define a condition for it to be executed. Okay, so um, I know that if you were a former Matomo Analytics person, uh, you were like copying and pasting the Matomo tracking code on every page that you have of your website through a plugin or module or, or within the template like, like I did. And as a consequence is uh, when a page was loaded, which was containing this tracking code, it was firing straight away uh, the code and sending it uh, straight away to Matomo Analytics uh, database. With a TMS, it's totally different. Actually, it's you who define when you want the tags which are included within the container to be fired. Okay, so it's not because the container is on the page that something's going to happen, right? It's going to happen if the condition that you define for the specific tags included within the container are filled in, then it's going to be executed. So in my case, I'm just going to do something like this. I just want to have exactly the same thing as we had with a Matomo Analytics Classic uh, deployment before. I just want it to fire on every page which is loaded. So I'm just going to click here on the trigger, which is called page view. And as a consequence, it's going to fire on every page which is uh, loaded on my website on which the container is included. But as you can see, I could decide actually to define some extra uh, conditions such as, oh, when the page URL contain, for example, I could do something like this, contain and say contain the word blog or something like this, right? But I'm not going to do that. So uh, I'm just going to create the trigger, right? So. What's going to happen now is, um, as I define the trigger, if this condition is satisfied, okay, then this script is going to fire. So I'm going to create this tag now, and we may think that it's finished. So for example, if I go here, here, but no, nothing's happening. And the reason why it's not happening, it's because I did not publish yet my container, which is containing the tag that I just created. Uh, Why well, it's not happening? Because uh, that would be a lack of security. And it would mean that actually every time that you create something is going straight to your website. So that's definitely not something that you want to do. Uh, what we just did right now is almost the equivalent of uh, on a CMS as uh, saving a draft. Okay, So if you want now uh, this draft to be uh, something real and to be visible, you need to publish it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to click on publish. And then it's going to ask you, okay, um, okay, about those changes, about this project that you developed, how you would like to name it. So I'm just going to say uh, my first draft, my first draft. Okay, and then you can precise. That's why it was talking about communication and project management. This is where you can just say what you did. So in my case, I'm just going to say uh, I implemented a dummy tag. So I implemented a dummy, a dummy tag. Oops, this is what I did. And now I'm just going to uh, publish it straight away just because that's uh, I just want the conference to be uh, straight away. But uh, I could definitely decide actually to publish it on different environments. So that's the case when you want to uh, to do it as a blueprint and uh, already to have the possibility to just uh, send it on staging or development and not ruin your uh, nice installation. So here it's done. I just send my tag straight away. So normally now, if I go on my website, nothing's going to happen because the page has not been reloaded. But if I will load it and I'm lucky enough, I should see actually, wow, this pop-up, which is telling me, hey, you rock. So that's great, because I rock. And uh, now I need uh, just to show you other thing, which is if I go on another page, what's going to happen is, oh, the page is, I mean, the pop-up is still firing. And the reason is that, of course, the condition is still true. Every page view that I'm going to go to, I can go 
to the home page, or then the tag's gonna fire, right? So that's uh, where you know that you need to adjust somehow your tags if you want it to fire only on the condition that you would like. So uh, basically, yeah, this is how tags and triggers are working. So tags are the different snippet of code that you would like to implement on your website. And as you can see, when you want to create a tag, you have different uh, tags that you can implement. You can implement, for example, analytics tags or uh, custom uh, tags. Actually, what you can see now is the list is not very long. If you compare it to the one of uh, Google Tag Manager, you will see that there are plenty, plenty of different uh, tags that you can implement according, of course, to the number of uh, partnerships uh, that they developed. Uh, so here, for example, the list. But, um, actually, Google Tag Manager is as well a, a latecomer within the Tag Manager uh, dance. Uh, so if you go to uh, some other vendors, you will see that they have like hundreds of different um, of different vendors. So uh, definitely what you can do in order to help the Matomo community, uh, you will see that uh, you have the documentation, the matomo.org website, in order to um, to know how you can help in integrating actually more uh, more tags, and that's uh, that's what's gonna make the list a bit longer. Even if honestly, you can always use the custom HTML tag in order to deploy anything. But um, let's see how it looks like when it's not a custom HTML tag. Let's imagine that you want to deploy Matomo Analytics, for example. Here you will see uh, the basic window that we just saw uh, before. But by clicking here on the Matomo configuration, you will see that the Matomo Analytics team did all the work for you, which means that you have very few chances of breaking something here because they are already telling you, oh, you would like to deploy uh, your Matomo Analytics tag on this website within this ID. Would you like actually to deploy extra uh, features such as enabling the cross-domain linking or the do not track feature or the JavaScript error tracking and so on and so forth. Actually, this is what uh, those specific tags are made for. They give you the possibility to inject just by clicking on the checkbox uh, different, uh, different features and all those features correspond to uh, normally to uh, code uh, line development. So that's Always the example that I'm taking, but if you take like the enable outbit uh, functionality, enable outbit timer atomo. Sorry for the orthograph, I made it wrong. Yeah. So let's say that uh, you want to measure uh, more accurately uh, the time spent on every page. You will see that if you dig within the Matomo documentation, you will see that you need to add this line of code, right? This is what you need to do uh, formerly uh, when there was no any Matomo Tag Manager. And now with Matomo Tag Manager, just the fact for you to uh, tick this checkbox will actually fire this line for you without having you to implement it on your website. So. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is just, um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you how you can deploy actually uh, Matomo on your website. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna create a Matomo configuration file. I'm just gonna go down here and say, hey, I want to create a variable. Uh, so what is a variable? Let's say that's all the different value that you set for the configuration of, of Matomo in this uh, in this specific case. So um, yeah, same stuff here. So I'm just going to deploy my uh, Matomo analytics tracking code on every page view which is fired. So I create my tag exactly like I did for the dummy tag. I'm going to remove the dummy tag. I could play, continue to play with my dummy tag, but that's going to be a bit annoying because I will still have actually this. Oh. No, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something very clever. I'm going to show you uh, how far you can go with uh, the trigger. So I'm just going to change this. And instead of uh, firing the um, firing the alert uh, on each page view, I'm just going to do it on, uh, on some uh, elements. And I'm just going to show you how powerful it is, because that's going to be if someone click on 
is this element. So let's inspect it. So uh, by the way, the JavaScript uh, debug console is definitely be of uh, one of your best friend when using a tag management system. So I would like to know whoops, what is this element. So let's see. Let's see. Okay, it's gonna be a bit tricky for me to get it. So I'm just gonna maybe take this one up. Yep. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're okay, know that. Um, okay, so, sorry. Just a couple of seconds for me in order to grab the right element. Okay, so for example, in this case, uh, it's kind of interesting. I would like to grab, I would like to grab the image. Okay, I'm just gonna, okay, that's what I would like to grab. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it here. Okay, great. So what I would like to do is when I click on this element, I would like actually uh, the tag to be fired. Just for the example, right? There's no interest here. Uh, so when a click will happen on, whoops, when a click will happen on a class, and where the class equal avatar, avatar, no, 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 then I want the tag to be uh, triggered. And we're gonna see if it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So. Uh, Let's do this. Okay. So there we are. Uh, so now I'm going to publish a um, new version. Okay. I can do that. So I'm just going to call it version two. And then, uh, yeah, actually, I'm not going to publish it. I'm going to show you a new, a new feature. So, okay. Uh, I created the version, but I did not publish it. So, which means that right now, if I'm going on here on this website, I will say, hey, uh, you rock. And it, this is the old version that I published. So uh, the feature that I would like to show you is right now I created a version, but instead of publishing it, because if I'm publishing it, it means that every visitor which will come to my website will fire those different tags. And I don't want that. I just want to keep it for myself. I will use then instead the preview and debug mode. And what's going to happen in this specific situation is mean that the version two, okay, is going to be in debug mode. And as it will be in debug mode, I will have the possibility to uh, to see what other uh, do not. See. I mean, only the version that I decided, so version two. So in this situation, I'm just going to need to. Uh, take this part of URL out, go to uh, my, so this one's going to be a pain. So I would like to remove this one. Okay, great, I can do that. Okay, and in order to move to the preview mode, I just need to copy and paste uh, this URL. And what's going to happen right now is, as you can see, wow, um, a debug window just appears. So actually this window is going to, Yups, I need to move that out. Up. As you can see now, I have a new window which is telling me, oh, uh, by the way, on this page, the Matomo Analytics fired. So I'm on version two, okay? So the version two was saying every page view, you will have the Matomo Analytics fired. And, oh, the dummy tag is not fired. And the reason why the dummy tag is not fired, it's because it's waiting for me to click on this part to be fired. So if I click here, nothing's going to happen. If I click here, nothing. But if I click here and I'm lucky, wow, it works. And that's exactly what uh, what triggering is about, right? It's a possibility for you to define a very specific condition in order for the specific tags to be fired. And the preview and debug mode that I'm showing you right now is the possibility for you to identify when something is not working why it is not working and that's that's great because it's helping you on each time to see the different event on your left here which have been fired every time that you uh, perform something 
and as well the possibility to see when it's firing, when it's not. And you will have uh, a lot of details here about the different uh, elements that you can uh, that you can get. And here, for example, it's very interesting. For example, that's the variable that we created for the Matomo analytics some minutes ago. And it's telling you actually the different value that he filled in with. So every time that you will tick a box and you are wondering actually what is the consequence of ticking this box or which variables have been uh, filled within it, this is where you will have the possibility to see, for example, if you are using uh, some custom dimension to see exactly what is the value which have been taken here. Um, I can maybe show you one example, uh, custom dimension. I think it's very useful somehow. Um, let's imagine that you want to push within Matomo Analytics. That's as well very dummy. Don't do that on a serious installation, but uh, you can push, for example, through the use of variables, so which are um, let's say information which are grabbed from the page or from the system. Let's say that we want to push, for example, the, the day of the week. I could just click here on Matomo Analytics. Say, hey, I want to create, actually, no, I don't want to create a new variable because I already have one. So I'm just going to go within variables and just change it from there. And I'm going to say, hey, I have a variable which is the Matomo configuration. And within the Matomo configuration, I want to set as a custom dimension, I'm going to set just number one, uh, the value which is uh, the week of the day. So I'm just going to yeah, pick up the week of the day. You can, you can even go further and just, I'm going to try, I never try this, but I guess it works. Like adding some several variables at the same time, like uh, yeah, let's say like a random number. So here normally, uh, if I fire a page view, I should see um, the weekday and the random number as a first uh, custom dimension. So um, I'm going to publish actually this because I'm not sure that as a preview, right? No, as a preview, normally I will not see it. So let's say, okay, that's version three and version three. I'm going to uh, create now and publish it. OK, great. So I'm going to disable the preview. Now I'm going to keep the preview anyway. Uh, and now if I'm doing this, so I'm refreshing the page. Normally, now if I look at the different uh, variables, I should see the week of the day implemented within Matomo Analytics. So wow, as you can see, we are on Saturday and they pick up a random number. So as it's a random number, normally if I refresh the page, I will have another number here. So let's do something like this, this, this. Am I silly or what? I should not have copy and paste this one. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I refresh this. I'm not sure that this page has been refreshed, but let's see. That's the case. Yeah, absolutely. As you can see, it's a random number. So every time that the page is refreshed, it's going to uh, pick up the other number. And uh, what's the point? Uh, the point is actually the tag have been fired. So as it has been fired, I can now populate uh, straight away all my data within Matomo Analytics with this custom dimension. So if I'm going within, I think it's some behavior, right? Behavior, yeah day of the week. This is my first custom dimension. I call it like this because I did many tests uh, before. And now it's telling me, hey, there's no data for this report. And the reason is uh, that probably, I don't know, probably I did something wrong or I play with something I should not have played with. But uh, what I can see here is actually the data has been properly has been properly filled within the data layer, so it has been sent actually to the system. So I'm pretty confident that maybe there's like a small delay uh, that I will see that within Matomo Analytics, and that's um, that's great because this is the possibility for you, as previously explained in the introduction of the video, to easily fill in. 
uh, your Matomo installation with any variables that you would like to fill it with. So it's, I mean, it's kind of amazing. This means that, for example, every data that you have on this page can be uh, grabbed and sent to any system, Matomo, of course, included. So imagine, for example, that uh, you would like to get as an information on Matomo Analytics who is the author within your blog, for example, if you have many uh, content uh, publishers, uh, who is the most popular, for example, who is writing the article which has the lowest uh, bounce rate, which has the highest, uh, which one is converting the most, and so on and so forth. That definitely the kind of thing which will, which was uh, difficult to implement in the past. And right now it can be uh, done straight away. All you need to do here is just to say, okay, when there is this visible element on the page, just grab it and put it on Matomo Analytics. And, and that's how it works. So it's it's amazing all the possibility that you can uh, deploy with uh, Matomo uh, Tag Manager. So I'm going to show you now a couple of other stuff. So if you want to know more about the possibilities of variables and triggers, the best thing is actually just to go there and to uh, and to click. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. For example, all the pre-configured variables. So it can be pff, so many possibilities. You can grab any any text on the page, you can also grab the any, any dates, everything which deal as well with the, the size of the screen. You can even track if people are trying to leave your website and then show them a message or, um, I mean, there are so many possibilities, like it's it's working the way you're gonna use Matomo Analytics. Um, yeah, one last thing before closing actually the, the conference is the container part. So that's um, that's really, I, I don't think it's here. It's uh, within the version part. Is um, you, you can share actually a lot uh, of work uh, through the export and import drafts. So when you export, for example, it's just gonna show you uh, all the Matomo uh, Tag Manager installation that you made within your Matomo Tag Manager, which means that all these JSON files can be, uh, of course, exported, and then you can send it to a friend, and your friend can just import it, and it's going to deploy all your tags within his installation. So that's the way uh, people can collaborate in order actually to define the specific tags that someone needs to deploy on the website in order to, to track some specific action. So it's it's amazing. It's totally changing the way we are doing business and is doing it in the right way because that's going to be, I mean, that's a free software and and you can you can hack it, you can play it as much as you want uh, with it. And it's, it's just unbelievable. Um, so yeah. That's what I wanted to 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 show uh, to show you. Just in order to go a bit further, um, you have also within Matomo Tag Manager what we call the data layer. Okay, and the data layer is the possibility for you to let's say to define before uh, playing with the Tag Manager all the data that you would like to fill in already within your pages in order for the data to be consistent. Um, let's uh, give a strict example. Let's imagine that you are using Matomo Analytics on an e-commerce uh, website. Then you want to push out to uh, Matomo Analytics uh, the fact that a transaction occurred. Unfortunately, uh, what's going to happen is that if no data are present on the page, uh, Matomo Tag Manager has no possibility to grab those data out. Um, even if those data are present on the page, let's say on the confirmation of the order page, right? So let's say as they are mentioning uh, your like your uh, pro the product that you bought, uh, the amount of tax, the name of the product, uh, that kind of things. And let's imagine that actually this page uh, is gonna break for any reason. For example, you change the CSS. Uh, you, I don't know, you update the template or anything like this, then actually the way you configure your tag manager in order to grab those data out 
uh, will be broken and then you will of course uh, lost the tracking of your transaction within Matomo Analytics and that's that's a problem. In order to fix that issue, you have what we call the data layer, which is the possibility to add some extra tracking code just before uh, the container tracking code. And then you will need to ask to your developer. So of course, in, in this case, you need uh, the help from the IT guys. And then you can, uh, from this data layer, just write the lines of code you need in order to uh, fetch your database and grab the information that you want in order to fill uh, this data layer with uh, the currency, with the amount of the transaction, the product which have bought. And then in this case, actually, your data will be consistent. So whatever uh, the HTML code of your uh, page is going to be, it doesn't really matter. The, the data layer is still thin, and then you can use the data layer in order to um, to push the information through the Matomo Tag Manager and then through Matomo Analytics, and then you are a happy bunny. So that's that's in order to go further if you want to do the things uh, in the best possible way and in order to have the less chances for the Matomo Tag Manager to be uh, broken, you have this possibility. And the good news is that actually the Matomo Tag Manager uh, guys, developers, actually thought about um, features which will support the Google Tag Manager data layer, which means that if you are moving from uh, Google Tag Manager to Matomo Tag Manager, you do not need to change anything because uh, the data layer will be supported anyway. So that's uh, that's really the good thing. Um, it's already, uh, I think the 40 minutes are already uh, finished. So what I will do is uh, just to give you a couple of references, you can just go on the website, the official website of uh, Matomo, and on the official website of Matomo, you will find all the information uh, that you want about the Tag Manager. So just the time for it to, yeah. OK, so here you have all the information regarding the Tag Manager. And you also have, actually, the uh, developer documentation where they are asking you, actually, if you want to um, develop some specific uh, tax template. Um, as they say, many more guides are, are going to come. I'm pretty sure of that. Um, and yeah, so uh, here's the official page on which you can grab a lot of information. But I have to say as well that actually all the tag manager really looks like each other. So any source of information you could grab from Google Tag Manager, uh, you can use it for Matomo Tag Manager. So. Um, Let's say, for example, one of the guys which is the most popular about uh, blogging, about uh, Matomo Tag Manager, about uh, Google Tag Manager is Simo Hara, probably. Uh, if you are an analyst, you already heard about him. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, you are right. You have all the great blog posts that you wrote about Google Tag Manager, or you can push the, I mean, weather forecast, uh, um, any things that you want, I mean, you can push it through uh, Tag Management System and you can just take those examples and apply them to Matomo Tag Manager. It will work exactly the same way. Okay, um, I really hope that actually you liked uh, this conference that is giving you a more uh, detailed idea of uh, what is Matomo Tag Manager. It's a huge topic. You can do so many stuff with it. That's that's really the future. I mean, that was already the future years ago. And uh, currently, this is what I would not even say most of the advanced uh, analysts are using. It's almost all analysts are using it because that's that's the way we are we are working now. We we do not uh, use any any custom uh, JavaScript. We do not actually bother that much IT guys anymore. We are just doing it on our own, exactly like uh, with a CMS. Uh, so yeah, I really hope that you will have the possibility to uh, to play with it and to go on the forum.matomo.org in order to uh, in order to interact and uh, in order to uh, to give us a uh, great opportunity to to exchange about this topic and that uh, we will learn all from each other and and I uh, really hope that you're gonna have fun and it's gonna rock the way you work with Matomo Analytics. Thank you very much for watching and um, and uh, do not hesitate actually to comment uh, this video. Thank you very much.